so hello friends once again i am here with a new video on english literature uh, our today's topic is new criticism yes friends very famous literary theory it is new criticism uh, and it is the theory of 20th century so let's move on to learn something more about new criticism so new criticism is a formalist literary criticism theory this term new criticism was derived from john crow ransom's book new criticism the new criticism is a book written by john crow ransom yes friends and it was published in 1941 it emphasizes on textual explication rather than biographical and historical study of works yes textual explication is the major thing the important thing while emphasizing through this literary theory any text we are going to emphasize uh, any text we are going to analyze with the help of new criticism then we only see we only observe the textual application rather than biographical study of works or the historical study of works so textual analysis is important in this theory uh, another thing is close reading of text especially poetry is ultimate idea of this theory it concentrates on formal aspects as rhythm meter theme imagery metaphor etc so close reading of the text is the important the significant idea of this literary theory the next one is i a richards is called the father of new criticism yes friends he is the great critic of his time and he is called the father of this new criticism theory he has written a lot of books regarding this and after his uh, a lot of books this theory came out in uh, the history of english literature as a literary theory of criticism but before uh, 1941 book of john crow ransom he has written two different books that we are going to learn in this video only so let's move on new criticism examines the relationship between a text's ideas and its form between what a text says and the way it says it yes new criticism is in contrast of russian formalism as russian formalism mainly focused on the form or structure of a literary work instead of its content while new criticism believed that both form and content are equally important so new criticism has given equal importance to both the things the form and content of the literary work whereas russian formalism was focused only on the form the structure of a literary work now the foundation of new criticism around 1920s and 1930s i richards with his book principles of literary criticism published in 1924 and practical criticism published in 1929 these two books were published by i richards regarding this particular literary theory new criticism but at that time it was not termed like new criticism but the basic ideas of new criticism theory were mentioned in these two books by i richards so next is william emson with his seven types of ambiguity published in 1930 and t s eliot with his the function of criticism published in 1933 already laid the foundation of this new criticism so these three major critics were there at that time who published their books regarding this particular theory later it was developed by other american critics and poets including clint brooks john crow ransom r p blackmuse alan tate robert pen warren and william k wimsett so the some of the key terms are there in new criticism these three key terms are intentional fallacy affective fallacy and third one heresy of paraphrase so first one is intentional fallacy it is trying to judge a work of art by assuming the purpose of the artist behind writing it yes the purpose is important here the intent is important here 
why the work is created by any writer is the significant idea of this intentional fallacy why it is created what is the purpose behind creating this particular work wimsett and beardsley in their essay the intentional fallacy published in 1946 introduced this term it is a confusion between the poem and its origin the next one is affective fallacy affective fallacy is judging a work of art on the basis of its effect especially emotional effect on the reader who is reading this particular poetry okay so the effect is judged here wimsett and beardsley once again in their essay the intentional fallacy in 1946 introduced this particular term affective fallacy yes the affective fallacy is a confusion between the poem and its results the next one is heresy of paraphrase when a reader interprets a text to mean something other than exactly what it says the heresy of paraphrase arises yes it occurs at that time when something other than exactly uh, what it says this occurs yes clint brooks introduced this particular term in his book the well wrote on yes it is a book written by clint brooks the well wrote on where this term was introduced by him heresy of paraphrase the meaning is paraphrased here whatever is written in the text the meaning of that text is paraphrased here so that's all for today friends for the new criticism three important key terms are there intentional fallacy affective fallacy and heresy of paraphrase first two key terms intentional fallacy and affective fallacy were coined by w k wimsett and beardsley in their essay published in 1946 and the third one heresy of paraphrase was coined by uh, clint brooks in his book the well wrought on so and uh, the new criticism yes the term new criticism was coined by uh, john crow ransom in his book the new criticism published in 1941 and the major critic the major uh, theorist of this literary criticism theory are i r richards william emson and uh, t s eliot and other uh important critics were also there for example krent brooks so friends that's all for today we shall learn some more english literature new literary theory in the videos coming very soon on my new channel so friends please subscribe my channel for getting a lot of uh, english literature material on free of charge and it is a coaching class actually so please subscribe my channel as much as possible tell your friends and watch my videos till the end thank you thank you very much and jai hind